Blueprint for Success. Hello, I'm Adele McClay. So what does success mean for you? Success means different things to everybody and I'm talking about whole of life success, not just those traditional markers of success, money, power, career, status, those things. They're very old school, last century if you like. I'm talking about success in the widest of dimensions. Your well-being, achievement, growth, experiences, relationships, spirituality, legacy. All those, I think, should feature in how we define success. Too many people are living a one-dimensional life or one or two-dimensional life. What about a seven-dimensional life where we think about our well-being, growth, experiences, achievements, relationships, spirituality, and legacy? That's what success means for me. And for me, the blueprint for achieving those things comes with, firstly, clarity. We have to be clear about what it is we want. What does success mean for you? Decide what that means. Own it. Own it with a passion. I call it seductive clarity because if if we're not seductively clear on what it is that we want, we are not going to do the work. When the times get tough, and they will, and they do, we just won't stay the distance unless we have seductive clarity that we want that success in whatever it is so much that's what pushes us through the other thing I think is important in in my blueprint for success is vitality soulful vitality as I, I refer to it as and that's thinking about things like our health and our well-being and our fitness you know, what is all of that I do believe food plays an important part in our world we have to eat well and healthy eat the best food that that we can uh, afford Uh, there's so much rubbish in food and that can drain us of energy and motivation and this is not a video about that I don't think you want to get me started on that topic here but health and vitality is absolutely critical to achieving our goals because if we're feeling sluggish because of not having enough sleep, um, not drinking appropriately or drinking too much alcohol, not eating the right food, then you know, we don't have the energy to, uh, to do the work consistently. The other areas of vitality that are really important to me is this thing called joy, joy or happiness. I believe we create that. I don't think it's dependent on an event happening that causes us to be happy or joyful. I believe that joy and happiness is a state that we choose to live in. Gratitude is another area of vitality that is absolutely critical. And studies have demonstrated that the most successful people started with gratitude. They've always been grateful for what they have at every moment in time. And again, not just in the traditional markers of of money, power and status, but across the whole of their lives. And I have a practice of gratitude every day. I always have a walk, at least 30 minutes, mostly around an hour, where I go out by myself and Part of uh, the reason for doing that is I just want to express my gratitude for all that I have in my world. And that can be the blue sky, the spring, the beautiful flowers, my family, the things that are happening for me, the people I meet. The more we can express and see the beauty in the small things and express gratitude for those, the more happy and joyful I believe we are, the more vital we are, the more we embrace this idea of soulful vitality. So the next area we in, in the blueprint for success is focus, steadfast focus. If it's going to be, it's up to me. You've got the dream, you've got to do the work. There's nothing that is going to happen unless the work is done and it's staying the course. Yes, things will get tough. Sometimes it will feel like you're taking one step forward and two back. That's just the way life is. It's a case of pushing through those really difficult times and if you have that seductive clarity, as as I mentioned, is is part one in, in the blueprint for success, then you will push through those really difficult moments in time. You will remain focused and you will get there. 
aiming for excellence, I think, is the next area in my blueprint for success. I'm not talking about perfection. I'm a recovering perfectionist. Perfection never happens. It stops us from doing things. It uh, causes all amount of, of troubles. So aim for excellence. Aim to do a really good job at whatever it is that you're doing that's leading you to, on, on the, the path to achieving the, the thing that you want to achieve. Excellence is perfect. Perfection is awful. Relationships. Relationships are absolutely critical in our blueprint for success. Yes, we can go it alone, and many people do, but if we can have people supporting us on our journey towards the blueprint for success that we've created for our lives, it will be more fun, and there is power in the group. Your relationships will be your family, your friends. Your relationships will also be your professional associations, and if your success that you're focusing on is is perhaps connected to business it might be that you want to think about a mastermind where you come together with like-minded people who support you to be successful as you will support them you can have masterminds in other areas of life too they amplify uh, your the quality of your experience the quality of your life and they help you to achieve more finally self-expression it's absolutely important that we all take time for ourselves, that we learn to express ourselves in the widest of ways. And for some that might be creativity, for some that might be running, for some that might be traveling, whatever it is that gives us that whole uh, experience of life, that nurturing. For some, it's self, uh, for some, it's religion or spirituality. You know, whatever it it is that helps you to feel that you're you're whole and complete. That is what what I call self, stupendous self expression is, and that is another important marker in my uh, blueprint for success. And finally, number seven is what I call sensational mindset. Throughout all of this, we must maintain a sensational mindset. You know, the mind is a very interesting um, energy and it can be our greatest supporter and it can be our greatest detractor. The thing is, you will choose which way your mind will be. I encourage you to constantly work on your mindset believe that you can do and be and have whatever it is that you define as success if you struggle with mindset in area any area of your life get help talk to people who can support you to help you with your mindset because if you let your mind get away on you then you're losing it. You, you're just not going to achieve what it is that you want to. Your mindset will uh, claim victory and you will be disappointed. So conquer your mindset so that it only has positive thoughts uh, that are supportive thoughts that help you in achieving everything that you want to achieve in your life. So just in summary, the blueprint for success according to me, Adele McClay, clarity, vitality, focus, excellence, relationships, self-expression, and a gorgeously supportive, sensationally wonderful mindset. Do all that and you have the blueprint for success. Implement whatever it is that you dream of um, and you will have the success that you desire in your business and in your life. If you have enjoyed this video and like to see more of my work, I'd be absolutely thrilled if you subscribe to my channel. And you can do that by clicking the link that's right there. If you'd like to be part of my community, you can do that by clicking the link that's up there and that will lead you to being part of my world. I share things in my community uh, that I don't share on YouTube or on social media, so it'd be just lovely to have you a part of the community. Thank you again so much for watching this video. And until we meet again, be alive, be passionate, be extraordinary in business and life as you define it. Bye.